Okay, I got a question. Um, there's a lot of trouble in the family uh, with the mother and uh, a sister uh, having emotionally emotionally uh, upsetting time. And then the person's being very upset by all this uh, upset and trauma uh, going on in the family. And he's asking me, what shall I do? I think, um, so the, the thing that I would, I would share with, which is a great thing, on what do I do? It's like when you have compassion that family members are suffering. What can I do? Well, there's a few a few things to bear in mind. I think um, I'll share some of my inspira my my favorite inspirational story, um, which is um, uh, my mother who had uh, diabetes and was in a bad way. Went to the doctor. Her legs were swelling up with oedema. And the doctor said, look, uh, she wanted some medication. And the doctor said, there's no medication I can give you. You've got heart failure. There's nothing that can be done for you. So, um, you know, that, that's what happens when you have heart failure. There is no medication. So she came home. She reported the story to me very distressed. And I was very upset with the uncaring nature of the um, <clears throat> doctor. So I was always doing these cancelling beliefs for myself only. And God did not create this or that for myself only. And I know Hawkins had cleared 23 illnesses, and I did it only for myself. I never, and I was I was upset that my mother was so distressed that there was no hope for her with her health. And then, you know, like the inspiration from God popped in and said, just do the practice for your mother. Um, so I started saying God did not create oedema in my mother. You know, God did not create swelling in my mother's leg. It's not real. And I was cancelling that belief that, that that mother had a swollen leg. She's an infinite being. She's not subject to such a limited horror that's uh, arising in this world. So I did that. I was inspired to do that. And within a day, her swelling was going down. And I had an intuitive link with my mother. So she kind of knew I did all this funny spiritual stuff. And then she showed me. She said, she pulled up her trousers and she said, look, my swelling is going down. And she, I knew that she kind of knew I was doing some spiritual work for her in doing it and and the swelling went away and it was a miracle god you know I, I witnessed a miracle so in order to clear the suffering of those you love uh, there's a few things in um helping you you it can't be guaranteed whether a miracle can happen for your family that that's under um the laws of karma and under god's permissioning sometimes for some people for the soul a certain thing is required for them to go through. It's just necessary. You're not allowed to intervene. But um, <clears throat> but sometimes uh, you are allowed to intervene. It just, it just it depends. So I'm not guaranteeing. But um, so you have to have the highest vibration you can while you're doing these practices for your family. If you're in anger and resentment the whole day and you do these prayers for your family, they have limited use because you're not connected to the infinite. So... Um, you know, you can pray all day long, but if you're in anger and fear, it's not going to clear stuff for yourself or others very easily. So always devote yourself to holding the highest vibration. One prayer from a, an enlightened teacher, one thought from a, a, a just being in the presence, like Mother Teresa. Mother, Mother Teresa calibrated enlightenment. Um, there's a story, I think she was, uh, I could be wrong for this, sainted for this. A yeah, person came with cancer and just was in her presence. You know, they had x-rays. And when she left the presence, the cancer had vanished. You know, the um, uh, the, 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 the church knew that's the, the sign of the saint, the miracles. Just to be in the presence of someone emitting that vibration of the infinite is enough to uh, remove these illnesses and beliefs that people suffer from in a split second without even talking to them. So that's the thing of you, if you really want to help other people, must commit, in my opinion, to being at the highest vibration every day for your own suffering and for the world. You know, because like, like I cancel my belief, I have a sore throat. Um, that will work, but that how fast that works depends on what's my vibration. You know, am I saying that when I'm connected to the infinite or am I saying that when I'm angry at everybody? You know, it's going to have a different clearing effect. Um, you know, um, so um, so that the uh, just to can you know, if I cancel my belief in 
um, sore throat, and I'm at the infinite, it might clear very rapidly. Uh, if, I, if I'm in anger and shame, I'm wanting to kill everybody, and I say I cancel my sore throat, that vibration hasn't got much power. It'll probably eventually do it, a lot of work, maybe a few days and weeks of cancelling. So vibration matters. Uh, that's also the story of Dr. Hugh Len. I would say is a, is an advanced saint, or maybe even enlightened, Dr. Hugh Len, uh, the famous the story, he forgave uh, the prisoners in Hawaii, and everyone got well, and they had to close the prison down because everybody got well. He just did the spiritual clearing and all the prisoners. So that's that thing. But you have to be at those advanced levels to clear it that fast, and there has to be a spiritual permission from God to do that. Um, so uh, I'm answering the question, what do I do? Well, one of the things you have to do is increase your own vibration because you can't help family if you're in a low vibration. Uh, you know, it's like they're in a bad way and you're in a bad way. And even if you're praying for them in a bad way, it, 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 it helps, but it's not, it's not that great because you're in a bad way. So sometimes it's better for you to just work on yourself uh, and get to a high vibration. Just you working on your vibration like forgiving your family, forgiving others, uh, going meditating, that already is helping them. You are helping them by going to a higher vibration. Everybody's helped because we're connected to everyone. Everyone is connected to everyone. So um, when you let go of your, when you go to a higher vibration, automatically without doing anything, you're helping other people. You know, when a, if Buddha was to go and sit down in a, in your work office, everyone would be, feel happy and peaceful. They wouldn't know why. They'd be more productive. There's just that presence uh, emits such love and power and peace into the room that everyone's negativity drops away and there's far better functioning and happiness. So it's okay for you to be happy. Let go. And now your vibration depends. If you hook into suffering of others, uh, what can happen if you do that in the ego way, it's different to compassion, is your vibration will drop. You know, they're, they're sort of crying, your family's crying, and then you're crying, feeling bad. So they have a bad vibration, you have a bad vibration. That's not helping them, it's not helping you. So um, sometimes you have to just let go of the drama. You know, be willing to surrender. I cancel, I cancel my need to control and save my family. I'm an infinite being. Once you get to those high, that, that is a way to help them. It was, it's no good you being in suffering around your family because it's a very low vibration. So there's no virtue in, 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 in being in a low vibration to help your family. So to help your family, you want to be in a high vibration. Um, so I'm sort of saying that just your vibration being higher will automatically help your family. That is a practical thing of helping your family. Just you being peaceful and happy. Um, you not hooking into drama of your family. That's your personal baggage with them that you've made them meaningful, important, that uh, if you see them cry, you must cry and be upset as well. Now, that's different to compassion. Compassion is when you stay connected to high love and you want to help others, but from a place of high energy, not from a place of crying in low energy. So there is a difference between that um, because you get disconnected. If you, if you um, haven't cleared your baggage with your family, then you'll get disconnected and be in a low vibration. Um, once you're in a high vibration, oh, you can pray for them at all times. If you're in a low vibration, you can pray for them. That's helpful to them. Or cancel beliefs. Or just try and be of assistance. But um, you'll be of greater assistance if you're in a high vibration, praying for them and trying to help, uh, help them. So these are all, um, you know, what do I do? My family's in distress. You know, realize that for you also, you have what you have joint karma with your family. There's baggage, family karma, family baggage. So if you just surrender that, you know, cancel, cancel your belief you're traumatized by your family. Um, pray for forgiveness for the one in you who wants to hold on to anger at your family for what they did to you. As you clear your baggage with them, uh, you'll be helping them. You, they won't pick up that anger that you're holding towards them because it'll be gone. That's a blessing to your family, not to be holding trauma and upsets anything to do with your family that's also directly helping your family they will receive spiritual benefit if you let go of your judgments angers fears and traumas around your family they, they are being helped because uh, you're working on you know just to work on your your connections with your family and clearing them 
dissolving them into the light will help your family because there is a level of group group karma, family karma that you can dissolve. And it, anyone who does the spiritual work in the family will be helping all of the other members of the family. So uh, that's another thing you can do. Um, <clears throat> Um, attend, you know, do the things that help you maintain a high vibration, whether it's prayer, going to spiritual groups, reading, reading books, listening to the audio and video of your favorite spiritual teacher. And that will help keep you tuned in to the higher vibrations, which is a help to you and your family. See, there's one thing, like if you're in a low vibration and your family is suffering, you can only pray for them and help them at your vibration. So they're saying, I'm, I'm suffering and you're feeling angry. You can only help them from the level of your vibration of anger. Uh, so you don't want to be, uh, uh, but if you're feeling unconditional love and gratitude and faith in God, and they say, I need help, you know, the, the, the inspiration and that which comes through you, that divine presence and words that come through you will be channeling a much higher vibration. So um, you've got to understand as well, there's a the family are teachers as long as you um, hold baggage, thoughts, wounds, resentments, anger, uh, wounds with them, then to that extent, um, they'll be suffering for you and suffering for them. So that, that has to be cleared. Praying for them is practical. Releasing your baggage. Um, go to the highest level. You can practice the observer. Uh, so, okay, my, my family member is suffering, and I'm suffering because they're suffering. I want them to be happy. Well, okay, so I feel sad. Okay, well, is there an observer of the sadness? Oh, yeah, there's an observer of the sadness. And is the observer sad? No, the observer of sadness is not sad. Okay, I have these thoughts. Oh, I feel bad for them. I feel bad for them. But is there an observer of the thought? I feel bad for them. And does the and is that does that thought exist in the observer of that thought? The thought disappears, you see. So you, you clear it through the observer. Or I cancel my thought that I feel bad, my family are suffering. I'm an infinite being, subject only to what I hold in mind. Uh, apart from the entrainment to listen, go to those groups, listen to those teachers uh, that entrain you, that help you to resonate at the higher vibrations. If you're feeling unforgiveness to your family, listen to a talk by your favorite teacher on forgiveness. Uh, or read from your book. Hawkins has a book. Power, um, uh, no, it's, um, yes, transcending the levels of consciousness. So you might read something on love or resentment to let go of your anger at the family. So read those things from the high masters um, on releasing stuff. Um, so that's, um, yeah, so those are some ideas on dealing with family who are suffering. <clears throat> 